So now if we look at where we're at, we had matrix transformations. That was from the previous video. That was transformations that were given by multiplication by a matrix. And we know that matrices have a lot to do with linear systems. And then separately from matrix transformations, we have the idea of linear transformations, which is this algebraic property we just defined. So are these the same thing? Is a matrix transformation and a linear transformation the same thing? Are they different things? Is it one implies the other but not the, not the other way around? I don't know. We need to investigate that. So let's start by taking a simple example. So let's take the, the linear transformation that operates in this, and I'm going to define it for you algebraically. Namely, this is the one which is dilation by a factor of 2, or stretching by a factor of 2. It takes every vector x and it multiplies it by 2. Uh, let's check, by the way, that this plays nicely with our two different conditions. Namely, if I therefore take t of c times x, well, what this tells me is it goes to 2 times c times x, and this is the same thing as c times 2x, because 2 and c are just scalars, I can alternate those around, and so indeed that is respecting the scalar multiplication. Likewise, I can go and take the transformation of x plus y, and this is going to be uh, twice x plus y, that's its definition, but we know that scalar multiplication distributes over vector addition, so this is going to be just the same thing as 2x plus 2y, and these things are precisely t of x plus t of y. So, in other words, what I've proved, this, this transformation that I have here, is indeed a linear transformation. So it is a linear transformation in LT. However, if I go back to what I have, I've actually seen this exact transformation before. Multiplication by 2, we've seen that already in the previous video. So what is this? This is the exact same thing as this was the matrix that we saw did the same trick. 2, 0, 0, 2 multiplied by the vector x1, x2. At least in the case where it's multiplication by 2 in two dimensions is that matrix. If it was, say, three dimensions, you'd have to think what would be the analogous matrix. But in two dimensions, this is going to be the same transformation. So what do we have? In this example, a linear transformation and a matrix transformation were the same thing. The linear transformation was proven on the right, but this is the, the demonstration that it is an MT or a matrix transformation. And so what I'm going to leave to the future is this question. Are all linear transformations matrix transformations and vice versa?